So there's a recent report going around that Kyrie Irving in a meeting last week with the Cleveland Cavaliers, he did, he requested a trade out of Cleveland. And the main reason is he no longer wants to be basically the sidekick of LeBron James. And it seems like him and LeBron James don't really want to play together no longer. And uh, obviously Kyrie doesn't want to play um, no longer beside LeBron James. So this is huge for especially many teams in the Eastern Conference because if Kyrie does get traded, you're looking at the next team up. Boston Celtics could definitely contend with the Cleveland Cavaliers because you're looking at LeBron James. It's still going to be tough, um, but you lose Kyrie Irving, a superstar, a clutch player. You're looking at Boston Celtics that could be very on the rise with a trade of Kyrie Irving. But this is just so surprising because it never... Obviously, Kyrie Irving came out with, he thought the situation with the my G, the GM of the Cleveland Cavaliers, they have no my G, GM right now. Um, he's obviously expressed that he's upset with the situation. They didn't make any moves in the offseason. They haven't got much better. Um, that all depends if they sign Derrick Rose. But, man, and he's also requested that he, if he gets traded, he wants to go to the San Antonio Spurs. He wants to go to a situation that is set in stone, a situation that is good, um, has a GM, has a good coach, has good players around him. And you look at him going to the San Antonio Spurs. The San Antonio Spurs right then and there are going to compete somewhat with the, the Golden State Warriors. They obviously lost um, Kawhi Leonard, but in that game one, they were up by 20 points, and they were running away with that uh, game right there. And who knows, Ka Ky uh, Kawhi Leonard, he, he stayed in that series. They could have definitely could have beat the Warriors. I'm not saying that they would have, but it was game one and how it was going, how Kawhi Leonard was taking over it. They were shutting down uh, Steph Curry. Uh, KD wasn't playing that well. You're looking at a team that might have beat uh, the Golden State Warriors. I'm not saying they were going to, but they had Kyrie Irving with a a team that already doesn't have a really set in stone point guard with Tony Parker. They got DeJounte Murray, and they also got Patty Mills. But if he goes to San Antonio, you add Kawhi Leonard, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Kyrie Irving, a big three out west. That team is definitely going to contend with the Warriors. I'm not too sure if they're going to beat them, but that is a really good team. And um, it's just crazy. I'm not too sure what they trade the San Antonio Spurs to get Kyrie because they got no assets. All their picks are going to be not good because they're obviously gonna, always going to be a 60-win team, 50-win team. So the, the picks are nothing to them. Plus, they don't got really big players that they can trade for because if you trade LaMarcus Aldridge that's a player that the Cavs would reportedly want but you lose LaMarcus Aldridge you're not going to be much better you're going to get better but you're not going to be much better you obviously need LaMarcus Aldridge if you want Kyrie Irving so I'm not too sure what they trade in a package maybe Tony Parker Patty Mills and a couple picks I'm not too sure if that's going to get Kyrie Irving that's definitely not going to get Kyrie Irving so there might be a three-team trade involved um, if he does want to go to San Antonio but I'm not too sure if Kyrie is actually going to get his granted wish on getting out of Cleveland I don't think um, if they're actually going to trade Kyrie I think they're going to run it one more season because um, maybe this is the reason why Kyrie wants out, he knows LeBron James is going to leave in the offseason, and he's going to be the last guy left behind him and Kevin Love. And obviously, that team's going to be a playoff team, but that's not going to be a championship contending team. So Kyrie might know LeBron wants out. LeBron's going to leave next offseason, so he wants to get out before LeBron does. So he's not stuck in Cleveland um, and not winning, basically. Because Kevin Love's a good player. Let's be honest, he's not going to carry a franchise like LeBron James does. And Kyrie, only, Kyrie can only do what he can. And you know, when LeBron's not on the floor, Kyrie's always struggling. So he's not a guy that can lead a franchise. We saw him when he got drafted to Cleveland. Obviously, he was young then, but he obviously can't lead a franchise. You always need uh, great players around Kyrie Irving if you want to win. He's a great second option um, on a championship team. So this is crazy. Tell me guys in the comment section what you guys think about this trade. And uh, if you guys do enjoy, make sure to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.